He's going to cross the street and did a shot together, and he is going to make you laugh. He is a funny guy. They're all funny, uh, but this guy is really cool. Please welcome to the stage, Mark Long, everybody! Mark Long! <laughs> What's up, Brody Theater? I know I'm a little loud sometimes, and so is Roger, so I thought the classical would be a nice palate cleanser. <laughs> That wasn't a punchline, I just wanted to not feel so alone for a minute. Are you guys settled in, you're comfortable? <laughs> We're all dying, you know that, right? Welcome to the show, we're all dying. Uh, but there are better ways to go out than others, at least you can have more fun, right? Like, I, I chose heart disease. <laughs> um, which works, because a heart attack's quick and relatively painless, but they've got like really good medicine now, and. 911 that comes and like, rescues you and shit. It's miserable, really. It doesn't like, keep you alive forever. Uh, but like I said, there's worse ways to go. With heart disease, it's, it sucks, because I have to take these heart meds, and uh, they have side effects, and one of the side effects is erectile dysfunction. So the, the pills I take to keep me alive remove my will to live. <laughs> But, uh, it's all right, uh, had another joke, doesn't matter, <laughs> glad you guys are here. Sucks though, I, my girlfriend dumped me the other day, I'm all flustered because I fucking, um, it's on again and off again, but it, it, it's kind of shitty when your girlfriend breaks up with you and you don't need like flowers or candy to win her back, no, you need to be on an SSRI with the retrograde antipsychotic mixed in. Like, you need Prozac, is what I'm saying. And then as long as you're swallowing them, she takes you back. Uh, that's what happens in my life. But um, it works, though, except the fucking, the, so the Prozac. All right, have you guys ever been on an SSRI? Show of hands, come on. This is an interactive sport. Yeah, right, exactly. There we go, OK, people know what I'm talking about. Prozac, the happy pill, it's not that fucking happy! You, it, okay, so it doesn't cause reptile dysfunction. One of its lovely side effects is called an orgasm. You can look it up on Wikipedia. An orgasm means you can fuck as long as you want, but you'll never come, ever. So on the off chance that I get past my heart disease and those medications, and I finally do achieve a usable erection, I'm only gonna have it for a couple seconds before... Anyway, I'm just saying... Uh, <laughs> It's a morbid, morbid thing. So man, when you think about it, what I'm saying is the pills I take to keep me in a relationship kind of remove any reason for me to stay in that relationship. You see what I'm saying? You gotta pick your poisons and your diseases appropriately. Howdy, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Yay! I'm not gonna do that one again, but it's nice to see you. Uh, something. <laughs> this is so awkward. Man, <laughs> did you know that zebras actually perform abortions through forced copulation? They, <laughs> they do it in times of famine as a means of population control. So that's what's black, white, and red all over. Oh. 
It's a dick joke. I didn't want to remove the mystery of comedy there and like break down the fourth wall. Uh, so anyway, it sucks when pills, here's the thing about Prozac, it's not just the fucking that your dick doesn't work and you can fuck forever but you'll never be able to come. It's that uh, there's other side effects too. You look further down on the list of the Prozac side effects is you may have an intense desire to kill yourself at the onset of treatment. That's the exact opposite reason for why I'm taking it. Like seriously, I mean, what other drugs? You don't pick up an Advil and look at the back and it's all warning. Uh, may cause severe pain for four to eight hours. <laughs> or see a commercial for Imodium and you've got this. Uh, side effects may include one out of the 30,000 people who took this medicine. Uh, shit out their fucking spleen. And so I, I wouldn't take that pill. I wouldn't take that risk. No. But uh, I mean, this is the problem, I guess, if you... <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I want to get intimate. I feel like I've gotten to know you all. You've certainly got to know something about me. So I want to tell you a story. I was sitting downtown the other day um, eating a taco. Okay, all right. <laughs> in a second, in a second, um, this is going to sound like a story that I made up just to say nigger on stage. <laughs> Uh, but I swear to Christ, this actually happened. I swear to Christ, this actually happened. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sitting downtown eating a taco, and... Uh, these two black guys walk by. I'm drunk off my ass. And these two drunk white guys right next to me. Okay, the only reason why anyone's important, like race is important, you'll find out in a second. I'm not just black guys, white guys. It's a story. Anyway, ah. Uh, uh. So there's these two black guys walking down the street, and I'm sitting there eating a taco, and one of them looks at me, two drunk white guys right next to me, and he goes, uh, what's that, a cracker? And I have a gluten allergy. I can't eat crackers. I'm eating a taco that specifically is not. And I'm like, but I'm too drunk and stoned and socially awkward to like process that. So I just do what anyone would do when a big black guy yells something at you. You just look up and smile and nod. I'm so, uh huh. And, and he goes, thought so. And then just keeps walking. And his buddy and him are, you know, now having a merry time with their day. What the fuck am I going to do? Nothing at all. I'm just going to sit there. The two white guys are staring at me, laughing their ass off. Like, well, that was interesting. Uh, right on. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm all for equality, but what is that? Like, like 50 or 60 years is what it takes for us to do, like, a full 180? Like, because... I mean, it would have had to have been like 1950 for me and a white buddy of mine to walk by a black dude who's sitting there eating a fucking cracker or taco or whatever he happens to be dining on at the time. And two black drunk guys right next to him. And I look at that guy and say, what's that, a nigger? <laughs> and he looks up and says, yes, sir. <laughs> and I say, thought so. And then keep walking and don't get fucking stabbed or <laughs> fired somehow or have to apologize to Jesse Jackson. Um, I think that's my time, guys. Thanks so much for coming out and seeing the show tonight.